This looks like an absolute clusterfuck, doesn't it? I mean, look at it. Wires coming up. I mean, looks out of place, doesn't it? Looks like a fashion design or a homemaker's design or interior decorator's design nightmare. I mean, someone looks at that, and I mean, interior decorator looks at that, and they go, ah! They scream, what the hell? But of course, you've got overprotective people that look at something like that and say, why is that even there? That's a hazard. Perhaps it is a hazard. Perhaps it is a hazard. But you know what? It's not. It's not a hazard, not whatsoever. And I'll tell you why I have this on here. Let me explain to you why I have it on here. Let me put it to you like this. How many of you have Direct TV? How many of you have Dish Network? All right. Now, how many of you like to get a good, a promise, a good signal, but sometimes are given a bad signal on certain stations? Well, there could be a ver variety of reasons for that. One, your, net, your dish is not at a high pedestal. It's not really high. It's not either high enough or pointing in the right direction. Or well, in this case, it's not high enough to receive a good signal. Now, some people might say, well, shouldn't it be at a, in the right direction? Well, that's true, too. But it needs to be at a higher pedestal as well. In other words, if you got a dish, if you have a dish for either Direct TV or Dish Network, you might notice that houses probably across the street from you or next to you, or even at apartments, that a lot of people have the dish net the dish or the dish for Direct TV or Dish Network out you know, on the outside yes, but on a, the highest plane in the house, highest part of the house. The reason for that is because they want a strong signal. That's the same thing with this. Think of this as the main, as the main dish, as the main satellite that sends the signals to those dishes. If this thing is on the floor like it used to be, or if it's on a table like that, like it used to be, then the floor, it's all right. Table, okay. But, if you have a computer or even a notebook that has Wi-Fi installed or you need to install it yourself, then that's a totally different story. Now why do you say now you now you might ask why am I saying that? Well, I'll give you an idea. I'll give you an example why. I'll tell you why I should say. Recently, my family and I were given a new computer by our relatives. And one of our relatives connected it, you connected it to the internet, not through a modem, like you probably can see here, if not, not through a modem, but, and, but through a Wi-Fi connection antenna. And I'm not talking this kind of, of antenna, or this, well, this is actually an MP3 player, but the design is similar, where you hook it to the back. I'm not talking like this. I'm not talking something like that. No, I'm talking about a big old, big old Wi-Fi antenna with cables and everything. Now, you might ask yourself, well, what's that got to do with anything? Well, if you have something like this, here on the floor. It gives a good signal, but not that good. Especially if your net gear is open to the public. Now, if your router, your main router like this, is secure and is only allowed to be used by those that you, by those that you allow to use it, then it's okay. But here's a little secret I don't think anybody knows about. Very few do, some don't. Your Wi-Fi antenna, 
and in this case, the one we'll use is the Netgear on the other computer, that too, in a way, is a router. Why? Well, because when I would usually click on, you know, the side here, now this isn't the computer I'm talking about, the, the one you probably see in the background. You Well, actually, you can see it in the other video. But the bar here, but this is where the bars would normally be. And usually the bars would be down to 201, sometimes 3, but mostly 201. And the reason for that is when I would click on it, it would show not just my router, but three other signals. Default, Daniels, and default. And usually on the Daniels and one of the defaults of not all three, I have to dis I have to uncheck connect automatically. Why? Because when I do that, it brings the signal back up. I mean, even with this up the way it is, and giving that computer's, that Wi-Fi antenna, and on the other computer, a stronger signal, it still loses a bar or two. I mean, now it's up to four bars, if not maybe five eventually. But it gives it a stronger signal. And what happens? This here, but, but what happens? happens when it still gets those bar, one bar or two less than what it should have? It's still because you got people connecting. So, what you need to do is do this. If you're, now, if you want a strong signal for your netbook, for your games, for your compu other computers, this is the way to go. Now, I would have put it a lot higher, except uh, the blue cable that goes from my tower to this isn't long. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Brian... Why don't you, well, Brian, you can just go out and get just stop a uh, longer cable and do it. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can go out to a Radio Shack or a Walmart or something like that and buy one. But you know what? I'm not going to do that and for one good reason. The matriarch of this entire family would not like me putting any more holes in this wall. Trust me, I know. But anyway... If you want a strong signal, you need to hang your router up at a higher level. That way you can go from not one or two bars, but to three, four, maybe five bars. You can, that's what can happen if you do it the right way. And if that doesn't help, also hang your Wi-Fi antenna up, up at a high pedestal. That way it will receive a stronger signal. And if both are at a high pedestal, so you'd be surprised at how fast and how quickly and how strong your signal can be. So, that's really all I have to say about it. Again, again, two words of advice. You get this, make sure it's at a high pedestal and it's secure, only allowed by you, only allowed to those that you allow to be on it or use it and also do the same for your Wi-Fi antenna because it too believe it or not is a router it too is a router because you'll get those signals and that'll weaken your signal just by a bit even if this is high up but like I said to make a strong case strong to make a strong case make sense I should say also put the antenna up high as well that way you can get a very strong signal yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll talk to you all later, whenever I can, because sometimes the batteries I have don't last long when you're doing videos. But anyway, peace out, God bless, take care.